He was good. So today I'm gonna be attempting something that I did earlier that I would call the Beethoven Serum Challenger or something. So I haven't seen anyone do this in Serum. I've only seen people do this in like making a whole track without listening to it. But I'm gonna try to do this in Serum. When it comes to this, you really gotta use your knowledge and what you know about Serum. So you gotta think of everything you know and how you think stuff would sound like and stuff. So I tried this earlier. And this is how it turned out. Yes, I made this without even listening to it before I was done. So, we're gonna try to make this. Uh, I'm gonna load up a serum. For people using Ethel, you shouldn't really hate on me using Ableton right now because this video is all about serum, not the DAW. So, using Ableton shouldn't really matter. Okay, so we're gonna start off putting the master all the way down. So I'm gonna try to use this wavetable from VR's pack and then I'm gonna squareify this because you always gotta squareify shit when making FM bases. Then we'll put this to about here. That looks that looks good. When you're doing FM, you should keep the simple pieces of a wavetable instead of like these noisy bits and pieces because that sounds very noisy. So I'm gonna try to use this part right here then I'm just gonna modulate this to where I think it would sound nice like that and then I'm gonna modulate the volume and then add some FM then we're gonna add a second oscillator I'm gonna try to use this wavetable from elevated bass that I did a review on a while ago so I'm gonna modulate this all the way to 100 then I'm gonna try to FM the sub yeah turn this all the way down automate it a bit up and then FM the sub to a sine wave and then like three octaves put this on two seven semitones and then I'm gonna add a filter I'm gonna use high notch because that's my favorite uh, up to about yeah here because this is like the this is like the U, this is like the R, A, E, so like Y okay and then I'm gonna modulate the resonance to go up and down so now it looks like this. So this little gap goes behind the peak. That looks good. And then I'm gonna put this a little bit slower. Use a LFO shape from Biohazard Volume 1 that I also did a review on a while ago. Then I'm gonna add some noise because that's very nice to have like in the background or something. Then I'm gonna just activate A, B and noise because A, there's sound coming from A, there's sound coming from B, there's sound coming from noise but there's no sound coming from the sub so there's no point then i'm gonna put on some effects i'm gonna put on a hyper do some modulation here some mix maybe modulate the mix slightly up here and put this down a little bit distortion uh i'm gonna do a cool trick here so um a cool trick when you're doing any kind of bass growl fm uh, modulate the drive to full and then put the mix a bit down and then you're gonna modulate this like like this so it gets more detail and then I'm gonna put a flanger zero rate depth up here uh, modulate some feedback maybe modulate the mix and yeah why not modulate some phase too just a little bit then i'm gonna put a phaser zero rate again i'm gonna put the phaser down here so it's like a whoa vowel frequency to make the vowel stronger the feed a little bit and then i'm gonna modulate the mix so it just fades in slightly i'm gonna put a compressor on classic multiband compressor like this then i'm gonna put an eq standard bass trick and I'm gonna do the same on the other side just modulating the gain so it goes like opposites now it looks like this okay and then I'm gonna use a filter I'm gonna try to use the phase 48 plus I don't usually use this so this is gonna be interesting modulate some resonance modulate this whatever this is then modulate some mix and 
put this maybe behind the distortion no behind the filter yeah i think that's it okay so here uh it's distorting all of this and then this phaser is just shaping the distortion then the shaped distortion gets ran through the hyper dimension and then all of that gets flanged then phased then compressed and then just an eq to strengthen the valves of the sound so right now we have uh, like 29 automations on this lfo so i'm gonna so i'm gonna put this to trigger and then i'm gonna listen to what it sounds like turn down the distortion maybe mess a bit more with the phaser and then i'm gonna use my super heavy uh, fat rack that i made on my stream i'm gonna put on some EQing. I'm gonna try to remove some of the ones at 340 because that's where your ear hurts the most. <laughs> so if we're gonna listen to the sound right now, it would sound like this. Doing FM basses, it's also pretty nice to just use some simple standard basic wavetables. So if we, for example, use basic shapes and we could try to use just like one of these. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, when it comes to the thing I said in the beginning, just uh, put on your usual effects chain. This isn't that important. If you're just using FL, just smack a sangerizer and uh, OTT on there and you're good to go. Anyways, if you like this video and this video idea, let me know if I should do more of these and uh, maybe make something like a growl or something instead of an FM and I'll see you guys in my next video.